Hello everyone and welcome back to DJ's Gaming. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And in the last episode, we got to watch the Devar Scout completely decimate the Oathbound Scout in a not so surprising victory. At least it wasn't surprising to me. And in today's matchup, we are going to go ahead and have the Devar's Trencher. Now, I love the Trencher for multiple reasons. One, they have both a melee and ranged attack. They have 40 hit points with 2 armor, 32 movement. They, are, they have a spike gun, 90% chance to hit, 15 damage with a 7 range, so it's a pretty long range. Fire a spike gun at the target. Damage increases by 20 when the unit stands within a trench. Of course, it's also affected by line of sight. Shield bash. Bash the target with a shield, knocking back light units. High impact stagger, reducing the action points and canceling any defensive modes. And melee, of course, is bypassing all shields. And then this is one thing I love about them. Entrench. This unit digs in, creating a trench around it that lasts until the end of combat and providing co uh, cover. Leaves one point. You can actually then use your spike gun. You can entrench and then shoot. It is extremely useful. And then, of course, they have normal dispense, defense mode. Now, they do have exposed flanks. Flanking attacks against this unit will ignore up to two armor, which they have at just start off at two armor. They are a biological unit, which is, and they're a core unit, a basic unit. Of course, they're the VAR infantry, land movement, and they're a light, light unit. Now then, they're going to be facing off against the Oathbound Paladin Aspirant. These are their, the, the, the normal basic units. And they have the Void Pike. Strike an enemy with an Arc Charged Pike, which is a high impact stagger unit. Reduces the action points, canceling out any defense mode. Of course, bypassing all shields for melee attack. Doing 18 damage. And then you got the Void Blast. Shoot a bolt of lightning at an enemy. And of course, it is affected by line of sight rules. And then defense mode shields up. Against all on, this unit gains 5% evasion for each enemy within two hexes of itself. Again, the, the Oathbound, they are built to fight multiple people They are and how they are trained. First strike, this unit's melee overwatch triggers before the target that triggers it acts. Unless the unit is flanked. So, they want to get surrounded, but they get some some bad things to when they get, do get surrounded they are a battle suit so they are in a, a battle suit but they are a biological core infantry land unit that is light and we are going to have them face off against each other let's see who's going to win this one it's going to be interesting because the devar can trench which gives them fortifications and that's a good trenching spot right up here getting up up here would not be a bad idea and then they can trench and then let's defensive mode now the dwarves the devar the dwarves the devar are built with the idea of Keeping themselves, you know, being the first or letting the enemy come to them. You know, that's kind of how the Devar are built around is, you know, we'll sit here and protect ourselves. You get to come to us. Now, I can move up here. Shoot. And I'm flanking them, so now I'm actually doing some damage. And these guys can do some damage. And then what I would do as the Devar, I would fall back. Again, force them to come to me. Da, 
That's only a 28% chance of hitting. Okay. These guys have a 95. Oh, dang. I'm, I'm thinking the map is helping a little bit. Okay, but now we get to get up close and personal, which is exactly what these guys like to do. Get up close and personal. Now, they have Overwatch first, so yeah, dang. Oh, dang. They, d I did a ton of damage. I took out over half their hit points in that match. But, dang. I only took out half their hit points. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can upgrade the trench to actually heal your units. Um, that is an upgrade, though, and because of the fact that it's an upgrade, we are not putting it in this setup. But as the Devar, and I, I'll show you real quick, you can, I believe, yeah, it's this one right here. Yeah, you know, this unit trenches becomes fortified trenches instead, ensuring that they can only be destroyed by abilities with Demolisher, and they heal any Devar units inside them for 8 per turn. And, of course, it grants an extra plus 1 to armor. So, in all honesty, you can make that my the Tier 1 unit extremely overpowered with just this. But, on their own, they were not able to take them. So, you're going to have to throw in some support unit or something with them when you're trying to take on the Oathbound. But, yeah, that was a, that was a close... For, for a minute there, I actually thought the Devar was going to take that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next episode.